Hello, I welcome you all to this chemistry lesson where we are going to discuss through this exam question under organic chemistry. So this is a wonderful question that I want to discuss with you. If you are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to comment where you are watching this video from. The question is saying, ethanol is a product of many fermentation reactions. So this is a product of many fermentation reaction. The molecular formula for ethanol is this one that is given here. So the ethanol that we are talking about is an alcohol. This is an alcohol. This is what you need to understand before we even go far. This is an alcohol that is formed when uh, something has been fermented. So when fermenta fermentation has taken place, an alcohol is produced that is called ethanol. So now, the first question that we are having here is saying, draw the structure of ethanol. This is the first question here. They are telling us to draw the structure of what? Ethanol. It is very easy for us to draw the structure of ethanol because the Formula has already been given there. So we can't even struggle to draw the structure. We know that we've got two carbons. So I'm going to do these two carbons. There is a carbon and carbon there. Then I've got five atoms of hydrogens that are, that are surrounding this carbon. So what I'm going to do is that carbon one here, another carbon there, I mean hydrogen, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, another hydrogen here, another hydrogen there, another hydrogen down here. How many are they? One, two, three, four, five. There are five. Then here you just say OH because this is a functional group for what? Alcohols. Every alcohol has got this hydroxyl group. So this one is called an hydroxyl group. Every alcohol has got OH, which is an hydroxyl group. This is how we get to identify them. So the moment you just notice that there is an hydroxyl group, which is OH, just know that you are talking about an alcohol. And if uh, a name given, have you seen the name was what? The name was ethanol. There is no at the end. Ethanol. We also have methanol. Have you seen? There is no at the end methanol, ethanol. This is how you can uh, identify them. This is the easiest way to identify them. We move to this other question. It's saying when ethanol is heated with the potassium dichromate 6, it is converted to ethanoic acid. So when this one is being heated with this one, this one is acting as a catalyst. So without this catalyst, we know that a catalyst comes to speed up or slows down a chemical reaction without it being changed. So a catalyst will remain unchanged even when the reaction has stopped. This is what uh, you need to understand. So now the question is saying, what type of reaction is this? Where ethanol, we've got ethanol, is being converted to what? Ethanoic. Ethanol is being converted to ethanoic. Like this. Being converted to ethanoic acid. So an alcohol has now become a carboxylic acid. What do we call this process? This process is called oxidation. It is called oxidation reaction. Where when you get an alcohol, when you expose it to the atmospheric oxygen, when there is this catalyst, you discover that an alcohol will now be able to change to a carboxylic acid. This is what is happening. This is what gets to happen. So this ethanol 
will now be changed to what? Will now be changed to ethanoic acid. This is what is happening. And this is what you need to know and understand. So maybe some questions you will be taught to write this equation where an alcohol is now changing to a carboxylic acid. So we've answered the question, what type of reaction is this? You just say oxidation reaction. So I just want to answer it and show you if you are told now to show this, how it is happening. So you know that the ethanol is like this. This is how ethanol is. Ethanol is like this. So we react it with what? Oxygen like this to form what we call a carboxylic acid, which is ethanoic acid in this case. So you know that this one, the way it is like this, it will drop one. It will going to drop what? One atom. Hydrogen is going to drop how many? Two. This is what you need to know. So there I'm going to have C on one there. H, here I removed two, so I remain with three. Then the C which I removed there will come here so that it forms a functional group. So the O here, I'll get one O there. I put here, then I write OH there. I write OH, then I say plus. The two hydrogen that uh, I removed there, I bring them here too. Then here, there are two atoms. I get one here, like this. So this one which I formed here, this is what I'm calling what ethanoic acid. This is what this is ethanoic acid. This is what we get to call as what ethanoic acid. So you need to make sure that you understand this part. You know how to go about this. These are simple questions that uh, you need to be answering. These are simple questions that you need to understand. We've got the last question here that is saying, so this process here, this is called the oxidation of what? Ethanol. Where ethanol is changing to ethanoic acid, which is a carboxylic acid. Then we move to this last question. Give one safety rule to be observed when handling this acid in the laboratory. So this is a shortcut for laboratory lab. So one safe. So you just mention one from those that you know. You know that you've got a lot of safety rules. So one, you need to put... Uh, you need to make sure that you wear, or you get to wear gear the safety stuffs. Where you get to wear goggles, you make sure that you you wear those boots. You you get to you you mention some laboratory rules that are there. So those same laboratory rules are the ones that you are supposed to include here. You are not supposed to put the acid. You are not supposed to eat the, to drink the acid. You are not supposed to be near food in the laboratory. You can put those. You you just put some safety rules that are there in the laboratory. So this is how we get to answer this question. And if there is someone that wants to start tuitions with me, this is my number. You can WhatsApp me on this number. This is my number. You can WhatsApp me on this number. I'll be there to help you. I'm here to help you get a distinction in science and mathematics.